Okay, welcome everybody. Um, so this is the playlist that we're going to be tuning into today for this flow. And if you have two blocks available or um, two books or water bottle or anything um, to use to create more space, uh, we will be using that in our flow today too. So I'm going to stop sharing and we will count down to press play on the first song if you're going to follow along or just start your own playlist. So I'm going to press the first song in three, two, one, play. Okay. So just come to a seat here. Sukhasana, easy seat. And you can keep your blocks next to you. And just start with your hands on your knees. So ground down through your sits bones and just become active and aware in this posture. And uh, we will do some breath work at the beginning and maybe even just a little bit of like kundalini kind of stuff because if you are spending a lot of time sitting, um, this is just something that you can actually do while you're sitting in front of a computer and just become more aware of your alignment and your posture and move your body around and flow your energy. So close your eyes. Root down through your sits bones. Now draw your belly in towards your spine. Maybe even feel your diaphragm kind of draw up and inwards. Now lift your chest and relax your shoulders away from your ears. So think about stacking your shoulders directly over your hips. And then lift your chin off of your chest and lengthen the crown of your head upwards towards the sky and just grow a little taller. Now big inhale, cow pose in your upper body. So press your chest forward, lift your chest and lift your gaze. Breathe in. Exhale, angry cat. Push your, your spine back, draw your belly in. Hold onto your knees here and just open up. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. So just start to find some fluidity in your spine, exhale back, forward. Maybe even pick it up and back. Maybe a little faster, forward, back. Just four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna come back to your long straight spine, stack your shoulders over your hips, and lower your chin to your chest. Lower down, rock your neck side to side, or rock your head side to side. And just open up through your neck and shoulders. Now drop your head down to your right shoulder, and then place your right hand on your left ear. Just gently press down and open up through your left shoulder. Release your hand, drop your head back, and just rock your head side to side again. And lower your head to your left shoulder this time. Maybe take your left hand to your right ear. Gently press down and lengthen through your right shoulder. And release your hand and lower your chin down to your chest. One more time, rock side to side. And then roll up. Now bring your right hand to the mat. Reach your left arm up and over. Breathe in, lengthen, and then reach to the side and ground down through your left sits bone. So ground down through your sits bone to open up through your waist and through your side body here. So this is really what you want to hear. Feel, inhale. Exhale, circle forward. And then cross your hands all the way around and reach over to the left. Inhale, rise up. And then same thing, over to the left. And then reach your arms forward, walk it over, and up. Nice. Now bring your hands to your belly. And draw your belly towards your spine as you exhale out. 
So take a neutral breath in, exhale, push the air out with your belly. So that's your diaphragmatic breathing. Breathe in, exhale out. Now pick it up, breath to movement. It's I'm going to move a little closer, keep breathing so I can see you guys. So you're going to tap into, don't worry, I can't hear you. I'm only looking at you. So you should feel your belly pull in. That's it. You're tapping into your diaphragm here. Deep belly breathing. Now change it up and seal your lips and just take it in and out through your nose. So it should be sustainable and you inhale lightly and exhale. And if you feel so, you can close your eyes. That's it. But keep your hands on your belly so you can feel your diaphragm working. Exhale out. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center. So bring your hands to your shoulders. So this is, these are called Kriya twists. And again, they're just kind of like, opening up through your spine. Kriya and Kundalini is all about your spine. So take a breath in and exhale, twist to the right. So breathe in as you twist left and then exhale right. Breathe in, exhale. So it's keep going and find the mobility through your spine. So you should feel some release in your lower back. You may feel tightness in your lower back and this will help to warm it up and loosen it. Twist, twist, use your breath. Exhale, for four, three, other side in two, one. Come back to center. Okay, other side. So breathe in, exhale, twist to the left. It's center, twist, or to the right. Right, twist, inhale, Exhale, so it's So as you twist, draw your belly towards your spine to lengthen and allow you to twist a little deeper. Last four, three, two, one. Release, shake it out. Okay, cross your legs, plant your hands, and come to tabletop. So meet me in tabletop pose. Step your right foot out to the side and point your toes forward. Press into the knife edge of your foot. Inhale, cow pose in your upper back. That's it, exhale, cat pose, push down and lengthen. Come back to center. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, thread the needle and bring your right shoulder and your right temple to the mat. Press into the knife edge of your right foot and then maybe slide your left arm forward and drop the front of your left shoulder down. Slow your breath and slow your heart rate. Rebend your elbow. And place your left hand under your left shoulder. Inhale, reach your right arm back up. Exhale, plant your hand down. Switch sides. Bring your right knee in and step your left foot out. Inhale, cow pose. One round. Exhale, cat pose. Come back to center. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. Take your left shoulder, left temple to the mat. Reach your right arm forward and breathe. Press into the front of your right shoulder to deepen the stretch in your left. Bring your hand back underneath you. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Come back to tabletop. Bring your knees under your hips. Inhale, lift your knees off the mat. Hover, breathe, inhale. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and your heels down and just walk it out. Bend one knee and then the other. <sighs> Inhale, lift both heels up high. Exhale, press them down. <sighs> Slowly walk your hands to the back of your mat and bend your knees as much as you need to. So bend your knees a lot and allow your chest to drape over your thighs. Just reach for opposite elbows and sway side to side. Maybe shake your head yes and no. This can be the best stretch you can do all day long to find release in your lower back. Now release your hands. Toe heel your feet together. Bend your knees a lot. Take your time, slowly roll up your spine. Think one vertebra at a time. Imagine that you're able to restack each one right over the other and recreate your alignment. Now once you reach the top, inhale, lift your shoulders up to meet your ears. Exhale, lower them down. Bring your hands to your heart center, close your eyes. Come to Salmas Titihi, stand at attention. Set your intention here for your practice today. Maybe your intention is to just release, let go. Let go of those things that are weighing you down or just to release the tension in your neck, your shoulders, wherever you're holding it. So take a deep breath in. Fill up and big open mouth. Exhale, let it out. Release your hands to your sides and blink your eyes open. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head. Mountain pole. That's it. Ground down through the four corners of your feet. And send your tailbone down and draw your ribs in to engage through your core. So find length here. Breathe in. Exhale, side body stretch. So bend your left elbow, grab it with your right hand, and then reach over to the right side. Send your hips to the left. Press into both feet evenly. Inhale, back to center. Come to mountain pose. Exhale, bend your right elbow, grab your elbow with your left hand, and open up. Inhale, come back to center, reach your arms over your head. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you. So interlace them, press your palms together. Inhale, chest expansion, press your hips forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze, and exhale, hinge forward. Forward fold, keep your chest expansion. Bend your knees as much as you need to and just hang out here. Let your hands hang heavy behind you. Maybe a little slight rock side to side. And then release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, tuck and curl. So bend your knees a lot. That's it. And squeeze your knees into your chest. Inhale, high plank, plant your hands and step your feet back. Step your feet back to where your heels and your hips are in line with your shoulders. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the front. Let's flow through that. Exhale, standing forward fold, step to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up. Exhale, side body stretch, bend your left elbow, take it over to the right side. Inhale, back to center, reach up. Exhale, side body stretch to the left. Inhale, through center. Exhale, interlace your hands, chest expansion. Inhale, burst open. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, release your hands. Exhale, tuck and curl, bend your knees. Inhale, high plank, step your feet back. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, look to the front. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up. Exhale, side body to the right. Inhale, mountain pose. 
Exhale, side body stretch to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you. Big breath in, lift your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, tuck and curl. Lower down. Now this time, take it a little different. So bring your feet hip width distance. Come back up to forward fold and slide your hands underneath your feet. So this is called gorilla pose. And this is another great one for your lower back stretch. So bring your hands just underneath your feet and then shift your weight forward into your ball mounts of your feet and your toes to massage your wrists. Now bend your knees as much as you need to. Breathe in, find length in your spine. So lift up halfway and exhale. Use your arms to pull yourself down. Take a couple breaths here. You may even notice some cracks in your spine. As you lift up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull yourself down. One more time. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, pull yourself down. Slowly release your hands. Toe heel your feet together. Bend your knees and rise up chair pose. Bend your knees, sit low and bring your weight back into your heels. Squeeze your inner thighs together. That's it, inhale. Exhale, chair plane, reach your fingertips back behind you. So squeeze your pinkies towards each other. Sit low in your chair and bring your heels or bring your weight back into your heels. Nice, inhale back to chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your legs back. Inhale, three-legged dog. Lift your right leg high. Now exhale, bend your knee, scorpion dog. Just open up through your hips. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Step forward. Scoot your toes forward. Now drop down to your left knee and come on up to your hands or bring your hands to your thigh. That's it. Keep your feet both grounded on the mat. Press your hips forward. Now lift your chest and lift your gaze up. Breathe in here to your left hip flexor. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Take it back. So have splits. Bring your left hand to the mat, or both hands to the mat, and peel your hips back, flex your right toes, and just breathe here into your hamstring. Now shift forward again. Inhale back to crescent moon. This time, bring your arms up over your head and interlace your hands behind you. Inhale, press your hips forward, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, back bend, make it big, open up. Inhale, exhale back to crescent or half moon or half splits. There we go. Peel your hips back and maybe go a little deeper and reach your right arm up to make it a revolved half splits. Inhale, exhale, lower your right hand down and crawl forward. This time, inhale, lift your left knee off the mat for lizard pose. Press your hips forward. Again, find that. Back bend in your upper body. Breathe in. Exhale, pyramid pose. Straighten the back of your legs. One more breath here. Inhale. Open mouth. Exhale out. Inhale, crawl forward. Low lunge. Exhale, high plank. Step back. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift your left leg high. Exhale, scorpion dog, bend your knee to open up. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Drop your right knee down and bring your hand to your thigh. 
That's it. So find your balance. Now press your hips forward and lift your chest, lift your gaze. Breathe in. Exhale, half split. So send your hips back and bring your hands to the mat. Peel your toes off the mat and lower your chest towards your thighs. Use your breath here, slow down your heart. Crawl forward. This time inhale, crescent moon, bring your arms up over your head. Interlace them behind you. Go deeper in your back bend. Press your hips forward. Lift your chest and lift your gaze. Breathe in. Exhale, half split. Bring your hands to the mat. An option to add this simple twist to go deeper into the side of your left leg. Yeah, so you should feel this through your like IT band area. Breathe in. Exhale, bring your left hand down. This time inhale, crawl forward, lift your right knee off the mat. Lizard pose, press your hips forward, add the back bend, breathe in. Exhale, pyramid pose. Send your left hip up and back and straighten both legs. Breathe here into the back line of your legs. Inhale, high plank. Step your front foot to meet your back foot. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale out. We're just going to flow through that one more time, right and left. So inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, open up, scorpion dog. Inhale, back to three leg. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Drop your knee. Bring your hands to your thighs. Inhale, press forward, back bend. Exhale, half split. Peel your hips back. Now inhale forward this time, reach your arms up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale up. Exhale, half splits. Maybe simple twist, breathe in. Exhale, lower. Crawl forward. Inhale, lizard pose, lift your knee. Back bend. And exhale, pyramid pose. Straighten your leg. Inhale, high plank, step back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift your left leg high. Exhale, open up, scorpion dog. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your knee. Bring your hands to your thigh, rise up. Breathe in, add the back bend. And exhale back, half splits. Slow breath to slow your movement. Now inhale, crescent lunge, bring your arms up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half splits. Maybe simple twist. Lower down. Crawl forward, inhale, crescent or inhale, lizard pose. Exhale, pyramid, straighten out. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale out. Inhale, look to the front. Exhale, come down to your knees, have a seat. Okay, nice job. We're gonna do a mellow core and, um, and then just take it into more restorative. So we'll do longer um, holding in the postures, which will be mostly on the floor, which will be all on the floor. So we're gonna do a gentle core. Grab a block, if you have a block, or water bottle works, or a pillow, whatever you got. Okay, so send, bring the thing, the object, in 
between your feet. Yeah, that works. And send your legs up the wall. Reach your arms over your head and then lower your feet to hover over the mat. Keep a micro bend in your knees and draw your belly in. Breathe in. Exhale, take your time, lift up, and then reach your arms up to grab whatever's in between your feet. Try to bring your arms to your feet rather than your feet to your hands. Now lower down. Exhale, lift. Switch it out. Lower down, find your own pace. Exhale, lift. So see if you can use your muscles rather than the momentum here. So we always say in core, when you cheat, the only one you're cheating is yourself, right? You can feel what you're doing in your body here and where the work is. Exhale, bring it up. Bring your knees into your chest and just rock side to side. Rock and roll back and forth. Okay, so if you have two of the object of the pillow or the block, um, we can use them both here. Or if you just have one, place one in between your thighs. So we're gonna move into boat pose. So block in between your thighs, bring your heels to the mat and then lengthen through your spine. So lift your chest and hinge back from your waist. Now squeeze your block with your thighs and activate through your legs. Push your heels into the mat. That's it. And if you have another block, you can place your block in between your hands or just hands together and actively press into your palms. Yeah, whatever you got, go for it. Russian twist, twist it out right and left. So it's right, center, left, center. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. So the challenge here is to stay rooted through your sits bones, squeeze your block with your thighs and twist from your waist. Glue your hands or your block to your chest, to the middle of your chest. Again, rather than moving in your shoulders, make this from your waist to work your obliques. You've got eight, seven, six, five. Pulse it right in four. Don't forget to squeeze your block. Three, less two, and one. Now pulse to the right. Pulse, twist, squeeze your block and lengthen through your spine for four, three, two, one. To the left, it's twist, twist, exhale. For four, three, two, one. Come back to center. Ooh. Remove your block and then lower back down to your back. We got one more. So first grab your block, place it between your thighs again, bring your hands to your sides and just some bridge lifts. Again, to lengthen through your hip flexors and strengthen through your glutes. It's lift, lower. So lift your hips, lift, lower and find length in your lower back here. Exhale, inhale, push into your feet and squeeze your block. Lift, lift, just four, three, hold it up in two. Last one, hold it up, squeeze your block, little pulses. It's lift, lift, exhale. For four, three, hold it up in two, one, hold it up. Now lift your right leg up, keep squeezing your block, little pulses, lift. Just four, three, other side, and two. One, switch sides, bring your right foot down. Lift your left leg, pulse, lift. Just four, three, two, one, lower down. Lower your hips to the mat. And bring your knees into your chest, remove your block. Just neutralize your spine here. And then take your block underneath your lower back. 
for supported bridge. So supported bridge, just release everything. The block is there to be exactly that, to give you support so that you can disengage your muscles. So lower your lower back down. And if you want, straighten your legs out and just breathe into your hip flexors. So if you're sitting a lot, if you're in front of the computer, your hip flexors get very tight because they're always um, contracted. So your hip flexors are gonna feel really tight and this should feel really good. An option even to go, we call this sloppy starfish. So this is a great one to do. Just take a break in between um, classes or whatever you're doing to open up through your lower body here. This is more lower body. And then we'll get into some good upper body stretches because I know that's, that's a big one. Now draw your right knee into your chest. We're gonna go a little deeper into your left hip flexor. So take your left hand to your left hip, squeeze your right knee in, and exhale, release your knee out to the side, and just play with some of the mobility that you have there in your hips. And maybe even take a half happy baby, so you can grab the inside of your right foot and pull your right knee down, so this will be intense and your right inner thigh and your left hip flexor here. And wherever you are, just take one more breath here, inhale. And exhale, switch sides. Ooh, so squeeze your left knee in and glue your right heel to the mat to feel this deeper in your right hip flexor. Maybe bring your right hand to your right hip and squeeze your left knee out to the side. And same things, maybe even half happy baby. Bring your hand to the inside of your left foot and then draw your left knee out a little farther and open up. Slowly bring your feet back to the mat and lift your hips up. Ooh. Bring your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Slowly, rock back and forth. Yeah, rock back and forth. Cross your legs. Plant your hands. And meet me on your belly. Come to Sphinx Pose. So bring your elbows underneath your shoulders. Press into your forearms. Push down to lift out of your shoulders. Yeah, so this is a great one, kind of counter stretch. Push down to lift, so find space here in your shoulder girdle. And you can even notice to lift lower. So make it a little drill where you're actually just lifting up and out of your shoulder girdle rather than lowering your chest to the mat. You're just lower and push. That's four. Three, draw your belly towards your spine, two, and one. Push down, lift up, breathe in. Exhale, lower down, and bring your left cheek to the mat and your hands to your sides. Just let your heels fall open. And bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. This time, take your legs a little wider than your hips. Bend your knees and bring your toes together to touch. Just like that. Yeah. You can take your knees out a little bit wider to the edges of the mat. Now press yourself up for king cobra variation. So push down, lift up. Press your hips forward. Now lift your chest, lift your gaze. And maybe walk the crown of your head back towards your toes. And press your toes towards the crown of your head. Breathe in. Now exhale, stick out your tongue, lion's breath out. <sighs> nice. Inhale, lift up. Now exhale, drop your left hip down and look over your right shoulder and just go deep again into your left psoas here. Inhale through center. Exhale, lower down through your right hip and gaze over your left shoulder. <sighs> Inhale, center. Exhale, lower down. 
Bring your left cheek to the mat. Bring your hands to your side. And if you want to windshield wipe your legs and find some neutrality in your lower back. Now bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Slide them back out to Sphinx Pose. Mm -hmm. Bring your right shoulder in and then your left. Your right forearm and then your left. Walk it out. Big, big shoulder stretch. So walk it out as far as you can. And then use your toes to press yourself forward and lower your head down. Just breathe here into the tops of your shoulders, your traps, maybe into your delts. See if you can slow your breath to slow your heart rate. And notice when you rock your head side to side where you feel this differently in your shoulders. And slowly slide everything back in. Ooh, bring your arms out and then switch sides. So bring your left arm in first and then your right and walk everything back out. Walk it out as far as you can. Same thing, you can use your toes to press yourself forward and drop your head down. Maybe just notice slight differences from one side to the other. Walk your head side to side. And slide your arms back in. Bring your arms to an 11. That's it. And then press into your forearms. Lift your hips off the mat for Sphinx Pose or for ooh, forearm plank. Forearm plank, that's it. Bring your hips in line with your heels and your shoulders and press into the mat to lift out of your shoulder socket. Breathe in. Exhale, dolphin dog. Send your hips up and send your heels down. Start to walk your feet a little closer. So push into your forearms, lift your hips, and walk your feet closer. Press your heels down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Walk your feet back out. Come back to forearm plank. And then lower down all the way to your belly. Let's take a counter stretch. So send your left arm out to the side. Bring your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Bend your right knee and roll yourself over to your left side. Rest on your left shoulder, your left temple. And then reach your right arm up. Maybe back behind you. And breathe. Slowly reach your right arm back up and lower down. Switch sides, reach your right arm out to the side and place your left hand underneath your left shoulder, bend your left knee and roll over to one side or to your right side. And reach your right arm up or left arm up and back. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up to a seat.
and grab your block. Grab both of them. And then roll down to your back. So bring your blocks, both of your blocks with you. And then take your, so you don't need it yet. Come back to bridge pose. So lift your hips, but this time, interlace your hands underneath your back. So shimmy your shoulders underneath you. Press your forearms down and then lift your hips. Now draw your chin away from your face and breathe. Or maybe draw your chin away from your chest. That's what I meant to say. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly release your arms. And then roll your spine down one vertebra at a time. And that's it. Now bring your soles of your feet together. And find Supta Baddha Konasana. Allow your knees to fall open. And then take your two blocks. Bring one block underneath your head. Okay, you may have to move a little for this one. The other one goes along your spine. So you can bring it just underneath your shoulder blades. That's usually where it should land. So adjust yourself so that the block falls underneath your shoulder blades and then right above your lower back so that it can kind of fall open. And then bring your arms out to the side. So reach your arms open wide, allow your knees to fall open and just breathe here. And it should feel great if you have a lot of that upper shoulder, upper back tightness. If you're sitting in front of your computer, books all day. This is the perfect counter stretch. Maybe even bring your arms over your head and bring your, basically, we're making the mono with our hands. So we call this the triple diamond. So you're making the mountain with your hands, with your arms, and then again with your legs. It's a deep heart opening posture. So you may feel your heartbeat pick up a little bit. Take two more full breaths here. And slowly draw your knees back into your chest. And then just roll off of your blocks onto one side. That's it. Roll over to one side and just stay there for a moment. Allow your spine to neutralize. And then press yourself up to a seat. Yeah. Now we're starting to feel restorative. Okay. Bring your blocks. And send your right leg out to the side. Bend your left knee. Box pillows, yeah, whatever you got. Okay, so we're gonna build ourselves a little support. So again, allow yourself to be supported with your blocks. Um, with the restorative postures, it's a little bit different than the other ones. You really wanna think about disengaging everything. So even your breath, just allow yourself to breathe naturally and think about disengaging all of your muscles. So reach your arms up over your head and breathe in. Exhale, turn to face your right leg and hinge forward from your waist. 
Now you can use your blocks or pillows or whatever in a lot of different ways. Um, you can take your forehead to your blocks or pillows. If you have pillows, stack them up so that they come up higher. So the higher the better because like I said, if you are just letting your head hang heavy, you're still somewhat engaged in your muscles to hold yourself up. So if you can create a little tower to rest your forehead on, then the work here is to literally disengage everything. So breathe in, exhale out. And maybe use that focused breath to gently release into this posture. And then just allow yourself to lose track of it. And you may find that as you settle in here, you become more comfortable. And you can even take it down a layer. So maybe remove a pillow and lower down. But what you really are working on here are the muscles in your lower left back. So gentle breath. And gently just settle in. And you're allowing but not just the muscles, but your connective tissue, your fascia, your tendons, which have a little bit less blood flow to gently open up. And then bring your right elbow inside of your right thigh and reach your left arm up and over, side body stretch. Big breath in. Exhale out. Lift up through your chest, gaze up, breathe in, and rise up to a seat. Switch sides. So send your left leg out and then draw your right knee in, or right foot in. So, um, yeah, we are focusing now through these slower movements on your connective tissue, your fascia. And so the reason that we have to slow down is because those uh, tissues don't have as much blood flow and it takes longer for them to release. So unlike our muscles that have a lot of blood flow and we can use external heat to warm them up and a lot of kind of shortcuts, um, our fascia and our connective tissue takes longer to heal and it takes longer to open up and release. So that's why we just gotta slow down. Bring your arms up over your head, turn to face your left leg and breathe in. Exhale, reach forward and find your tower that you made for your forehead. So whatever you're using, you can even use your, your water bottle here to place your forehead down and just breathe. And notice once you start to settle in and your breathing calms, see where you can deepen. Slowly rise and then bring your left arm inside of your left shoulder and reach your right arm up and over. Yeah. Inhale, rise up. And then move your blocks. Now this time take both feet together for a cobbler's pose, or we call this butterfly pose because your legs look like butterfly wings. Now bring your feet out a little farther. Uh, the farther in you bring them, the more you feel this in your inner thighs. Um, if you bring them a little farther out, it gives you more space to then hinge forward 
and again, open up our lower backs. So find a block or your pillows or whatever you need again to build a little tower and rest your forehead on your pillows. And then maybe as you settle in, remove a layer and gently allow yourself to lower down. You can feel this a little differently if you walk your hands over to the right side. Maybe cross your left hand over your right and breathe in. Exhale, settle in. Two more breaths here. And walk your hands over to the left side. And same thing, breathe in. Exhale out. Come back through center and roll up your spine. Bring your block with you. And lower all the way down to your mat. Bring your knees into your chest. That's it, and come to figure four. So bring your right ankle to your right thigh. Flex your foot and then draw your left knee towards you or left thigh towards you. Maybe capture your right shin and just rock side to side. Breathe into your right outer glutes. Take your legs as they are and drop them both to the left side. So keep your figure four legs, drop your legs to the left. Maybe even press your right knee open a little bit to deepen the stretch. And then relax your right shoulder down and gaze right. And from here, just kind of play around with the little micro movements. See where you feel this in your hips and your lower back. And maybe gently work towards Crossing your right leg over your left in your supine twist. And just breathe here. Your knees back to center. Neutralize your spine, so rock side to side, and then switch sides. Bring your left ankle to your right thigh for figure four, and then draw your right knee towards you. Flex your foot and rock side to side, and just breathe into the outside of your left glute. And slowly drop 
both legs to the right side. Keep your figure four right now and just feel into that. So maybe use your muscles to press your left knee open. And just feel around in that hip and glutes. And then settle into the twist. Turn your knees back into your chest and neutralize your spine side to side and then send your legs up the wall. If you have a block or a pillow, you have the option to place your block or pillow underneath your lower back to elevate a little bit for your legs up the wall. And you can stay right here. This is great for lower back release. maybe even in your legs and feet. You can roll out your ankles and just let it feel good. Let all the blood flow kind of recirculate. And you can stay right here. This is a great restorative posture. If you want to go a little deeper into plow pose, use your hands and kick your feet back over your head. So press and then lift your hips. And then just start to bring your hands to your lower back for support and maybe lower your toes down towards the ground. Gaze directly in front of you and just feel the length through your spine. And next layer, if you want to try on ooh, shoulder stand, send your legs straight up and lengthen. Maybe bend your knees, dot your forehead, come through ear pinning pose. Again, just rolling out your lower back. If you can move your block, move your block and roll down to happy baby. Take your time, roll down your spine. See if you can articulate one vertebra and then the other until they're all on the ground and grab the insides of the soles of your feet and rock side to side. Take any final movements that you need in your body and then squeeze your knees into your chest. Exhale, final Shavasana. And you have an option to add the heart opener. So if you, again, if your focus is on your chest and shoulders um, or upper back, you can add the heart opener. So similar to what we did in Supta Kanasana, where your block goes underneath your shoulder blades, you can either have it flat like this, or if you wanna go deeper, you can take it this length and then take this part along your spine and just adjust the one underneath your head to support you. So find a layer that works for you. We'll be here for just a few minutes. But this is a great one, even if you wanna try it and see how it feels. And then bring your other block underneath you. Send your legs out long this time and just let your toes fall open. Release your arms to your sides. And you may have to shimmy and wiggle until you find your final posture. And once you're able to settle into that posture, wherever it is, maybe no blocks, or just pillows under your back. But breathe into these last moments of your constructive rest. 
I'll let you know when it's time to come out. Hey, gentlemen. Okay, I think it's just us. Let me see. Yeah, um, Anella's Wi-Fi got cut off. She just texted. Oh. oh, no, I was thinking it's 12, so some people probably had class, too. Um, but I didn't bring you out of that as slowly as I wanted to. But now that you're in your seat, <laughs> take one final seat. How are you feeling in your chest and shoulders? Way better. My lower back feels so good now. Oh, good. Okay, I'm going to stop recording right now. <laughs>